brothers and sisters of celestial energies, brother wisdom. Um, one of the brothers asked a question. He says, "How are we to go to war when we are not in full power?" All right, you're looking at now. Let's not look at now. All right, let's not look at now. But you should be at the point of full power. Right? You should be you should literally be walking around and feeling the tingling and the burning sensation all throughout your body. Like right now, my hands are burning, my feet are burning. All right. The middle of my of my chest is literally burning there and and, and I can literally sense this dark energy within me. All right. You should be able to sense the the the, the presence of dark energy. These, these, you should be able to walk into a room and everyone just looks at you for a second and then realizes you and not someone else. You shouldn't be at a place where you're doubting yourself. How can we go to war when we're not at full power? Was the question. Someone says, yeah, I was wondering about that which means that you're doubting yourself. If you doubt yourself, then there's no place for invincibility. There's no place for immortality. That's if that's you doubt yourself. The whole part about it is you believing in who you are. Okay. The Black Panther movie was all to show that we are the most powerful people. And when we in full power with ourselves, there's nothing that can penetrate us. Shows about the technology that's within us. All right. Everything is within. So you can't say if we're, how do we go to war? If we're not in full power, September 21st is coming. Now it's all about how you accept the energy. All right. It's all about how you accept the energy. The whole part is understanding that the energy that we are building up now is the energy that we're going to have to use for this war that's going to be coming very soon. So don't question yourself and don't question your power because that's when it, you leave the, the door open for doubt which means that you fall back in a powerless scheme like oh they got guns and they got bullets when we should all realize that the bullets that they have are made of the same elements that's within our bodies so in our full power we're able to control that the guns that they create are made of the same elements that are within our bodies. Yes, you know, we have some silicone in our bodies also. It's mostly metallic, but we have some silicone. Okay, very little. So, which means that we have the ability to control all elements on the periodic table chart and elements that, that are not on the periodic table of elements. Okay, you can't doubt yourself. That's number one. You control death. All right. Someone someone asks, say, can you talk about how we control death? You control death by knowing that you are already an immortal being. By already knowing that you're an immortal being, you go into your higher self and to your to the highest part of your lower self right now. All right where you literally feel your crown chakra vibrating, emitting energies and frequencies into the atmosphere. All right. You control death by knowing that everything around you is nature. Your soul survived death and was carried by nature. So the whole thing about it is knowing that you are nature, which means that everything 
the energy that's around you is your protection. That's a higher mind thinking. That's your most higher mind thinking. And for some of us, this will kick in easily. For other others of us, we're still questioning. The part is you don't question. You don't doubt yourself. You completely believe in yourself and know who you are. Like I say right now, our hands and, and, and all of everyone, all, all of us, our, our, our people, who especially the ones who are supposed to be awakened, your hands and your feet should be tingling right now. You should feel, be feeling lightning energy. You should be sensing the dark energy all around you. You should be breathing and you can feel dark energy come up out of your mouth. It feels like fire. feel like this heat all over you. Don't doubt yourself. Understand that. The reason why we can control death is because we're in nature. And when you're full, when you're in the full order of who you are, like I say, you got your, you got your, you, you're, you're the highest part of your lower self. And 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 your your uh, crown chakra is literally vibrating and 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 emanating energy out into the atmosphere, which is which which creates which uh, uh, creates a, 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 a an electromagnetic magnetic barrier around you and it connects with your soul all right so understand that there is no reason for us to doubt ourselves when you doubt yourself you make yourself susceptible to what the enemy has for us they will always fear you when you believe in yourself because they can sense your energy and they will back away from you quickly your belief in yourself is your salvation. You say believe in Jesus and that's no, no. You believe in yourself. That's your salvation. Then you know who you are. You know your powers and you know your energies. You've already chosen a a and an, uh, a force that you want to 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 uh, um, maintain and use as your weapon. This. It's how you prepare yourself for war. So meditation. I mean, it's and it's, a, it's the each for each one of us is a lonely road. It's a lonely road to travel. But then when we come together, we do it as the, as as a group. It's a group effort. Yes, it's a lonely road, but we do it as a group effort. So the whole power, the whole part is 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 you believing in yourself and you practicing working yourself up to to the to the point of I know who I am. You know who you are. There is no way anyone could do you any harm. You know who you are. All right. I just want to pass that on to you guys. Hope this is helpful for you. Hope this is helpful for you. So you say, how can we go to war when we're not at a higher self? Well, you know, and the thing about it is we're not going to war right now. But when I when we go into our higher selves. And when that time comes, when that portal opens, we're going to be going full fled into war. So don't worry about now. Focus on building yourself up now. Like I say, your Tai Chi, your meditation, listening to your, your different frequencies, going deeper into yourself, going into the darkness, going to that triple dark, triple dark energy in your meditation. Doing your yoga. Continuing your rituals. This is this is how you build yourself up. You the energy that you that you pull in now is the energy that you're gonna need when you go into battle. Okay, guys? That's about all I got for right now. All right. Hope I hope this was helpful. I hope it was helpful. Believe in yourself. Choose the force that you want to use as your weapon. Magnetism, wind, water, fire, electricity. Choose the force. Frequencies. You know, choose the force that you want to use as your weapon. Okay? And work on that. We don't have much time left. Go within yourself and, and allow your, your inner spirit to teach you how to use it. I'll be doing more classes later on. All right, guys. All right. All power to the multi-chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you.